dance and I can pop it. Or do you want to do you want to Okay, just come on in. All right, you know what? You guys can come with your grands. What? Are you sure? Yeah. All right. So grand finals: Latte versus uh, Sushi. I've seen them both play I'm, today. Whoa! Bro, sushi going to Robin. Did not expect that. I, 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 you're the only one I usually see playing Robin. Yeah, I'm. I'm technically. So what do you think of this matchup here? This matchup is is a battle spacing and all that. It is a it is a very complicated matchup due to the amount of zoning both of these characters can do. And now now I'm starting to. <laughs> Now I'm starting to feel inadequate because Sushi's doing all these things that I normally don't do in the work game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so far they're working. I'm, I'm, starting, I'm starting to feel a little inadequate with Robin right now seeing this. Uh, but, it's okay. But in all honesty, well, Sushi is just throwing out random mouse throws. Which I'm wondering what he's doing. So he might, be, he might be using it just to get the book so he can just throw it. Yeah, that seems like something I would do a lot. Yeah. Except I would do that more with my Arc Fire or my Thunder. <laughs> Yeah, because the Archfire will put on some pressure, whereas the just naked Nosferatu just doesn't really expect it. He went for it again. Ooh, I don't think he the up into the forward air. I don't think he thought he had a book. I think he just he knows how to play Robin, but I don't, I don't think he knows the limit of the book and the ice sword yet. Yeah. Hopefully, Sushi does know the amount of numbers that Robin has to juggle. Because in case nobody, in case those emails who don't play Robin, Robin has to juggle five numbers in their head and five different timers at once, and it definitely becomes quite a hassle when you have to, especially if you're playing Robin at a professional level like I sometimes do. Juggling five numbers and five timers is not is it's a it's a it's a battle in and of itself. Yeah, I've, I've thought about doing that problem sometimes, but I'm like, you know what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to think that much. I just want to hit things. I mean, I mean, sure, people could just go into Robin completely raw and not bother about uh, numbers and timers, but that, but that just makes playing uh, Robin so much effort. Wow. Oh and oh, that is that game, is game one, one for Sushi. I know, yeah, stuff for lots of I'm sorry. I got that. I did not expect the Robin. No, the Robin, the Robin. Mm. He's been, he's been I thought doing... I thought I was the only Robin in uh, Smash I thought he was Four. Cloud, cloud, cloud this whole or Ref Knight. Oh, he's going to Roy. Wow. His Roy's been good today, though. I, I don't think he's lost today as, as Roy. This is this is quite interesting. Sushi's busting out two fire emblems. I've seen him at the game lab pull out a Rosalina and Luma. I kind of don't see that. Well, Rosalina is his name. Yeah, I, I don't know why we haven't seen that today. I think either he's just been sandbagging with Rosalina because I remember facing him in friendlies and I somehow managed to play with my Rosalina. Okay, so maybe he's not doing good with her today. Yeah, this is It's not that happens. Like, there one day you're just like, oh, I'm not doing good with this character. I'm just going to play somebody else for a bit. Oh, nice. Nice job with the bouncer. Yeah. When it comes to Joe, is a scary thing. He only mains one person. So. Well, now two. Well, now two. So, he's got somebody to fall back on. Oh, no. What are you doing? You play this game. No. What are you doing? How did you make it this far? <laughs> that was Sushi by answering a no to the question. Do you play Smash 4? No, he don't. Hey yes, he played Roy in the last match, he played Robin. <laughs> then we might as well just go Japanese and say Ref Life. <laughs> this is... This is... Alright, right, Sushi, where are you on? This is heavily in my face favor. Right. <laughs> Not even the hardest reads, Dylan. I've had some pretty hard Ah, uh, yep, the LB explosion. I've landed. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll be in the corner. Oh, getting him on stage. Is this it? No, no not yet. yet. Oh, the forward. Oh, he that. He's just trying to keep. I think the forward smash is just to keep pressure on and maybe right. get the read. Because. In all honesty, Bowser Jr.'s forward smash is scary. Ooh, like, most people's forward smashes are scary. It's 
And, and considering today, and considering that today is Saturday, what a best way to send this off with uh, D with Toe the KK, singing for us in the background of Smashville. So if only we can get some real Smashville music going, because a DJ KK is definitely bringing the beats. Oh! oh! And that is it. Grand I'm, I'm, Finals go to oh. Latte. Congratulations, Latte, on your victory. That was. That was yeah, Latte just came and he showed up. He, he like he normally does. Latte definitely deserves his place as the best Smash Four player of the Paul. Yeah. He he is definitely the top tier on there. See see he, here's the tier list. He goes him, then above that me. <laughs> no no I I'm like bottom tier. I am like 10 20th. So. For those of you on stream, thank you for tuning in with us for such a long time. We're at the end of our time because otherwise we're just going to get in trouble by maintenance staff. Yep. So, for the last time, we are the DePaul D Smash uh, Club, and this is our first uh, Smash Fest. I am I am a co-commentator, Valker. I'm a co-commentator, Assy, and we just want to say thank you for watching and have a nice evening. So you better sign up before we get kicked out. Goodbye. Bye bye.